the sound of the sea. I love it. That is awesome. Fresh North Sea air. Oh, it's so good. It will tire you out. So, where am I? <laughs> These geese ain't got me mates. I brought some mates here on a boat. Gonna go out and catch some fish. A wicked mural on that wall. So today, good eye! <laughs> and welcome to Britain's, Britain's best place to live. So certain newspaper reports have been saying that Sheringham, right here on the North Norfolk coast, is probably one of the best places to actually live in the whole of the UK. So just 20 miles or 30 from my doorstep, I thought I'd give it a look, see what all the fuss is about. Beautiful sunny spring day. Oh man, they're lobster pots and the lobster boats. We have a runaway man from the storm drain down into the sea. Beautiful pebble beach. That's proper. If this is North Norfolk's premier seaside town. You can walk miles up there. Norfolk's premier seaside town. Well, that's what it said on the sign when I came through the Norfolk mountains. I did. Twinned with the Himalayas, no less, on my entry into Sheringham. It's wicked. It's beautiful artwork. It's really cool. So, I'm going in to the main town. Which is up here. Wicked. We've got the crown. There's a boozer. There's a museum there. There's a boozer. Traditional free house. We might get to taste their whiz towards the end of the vlog. Right. I've got to hurry up because I have only 30 minutes because I don't have the money on me. I had one pound. The horse is there. It's 60p for 30 minutes on there. So that's me. I am running against the clock. Oh man, here's a wonderful, wonderful coastline right here. And we have the two lifeboats. Another fine looking, traditional boozer a great menu served all day with a fantastic range of beers rare real ales and cocktails that's what you get on this Norfolk coastline and I'm telling you what I love it I tell you this is when you want to live here is that not a wonderful place to live you can see right out there about four miles the wind farm I've never seen before, that went there last time I was there. And there's another wind farm right out there, I think. I think. Well, wicked place to be on a really nice, sunny day like today in spring. Sheringham. So here I am. Excuse me. Do you live here? Oh, okay, no worries. Pardon? Visit. Well, I've, I've heard this is the best place to live. I so, so, yeah, well, I want to ask some people to find out. Oh, you'll find somebody. Hopefully, I bet I, bet I don't. I bet they're all tourists <laughs> like me. Have a good day. Cheers. Cheers, thank you. You, you, you must be locals. I'm not, I'm afraid. You're not, you're, you're just visiting. Oh, we are. No, yeah. oh, me too. <laughs> Cheers, have a good day. Everybody's visiting, I'm sure. I'm sure, now this, let me try and find some people who aren't visiting, who live here. You must live here, buddy. I don't live here. You don't? Do you live nearby? No, uh, we live in Norwich. You live in Norwich? You live in Norwich? Oh, okay, do you mind being on camera? Uh, Jack. No? Jack, okay, yeah. Do Jack mind being on camera? Because you look like you've got, is that candy floss, Jack? It is, freshly made candy. It is, it is. So you, you, you may not live here, but you work here, so you must know a bit about Sheringham. This looks very traditional to me. The whole. 
Yeah, the whole town is traditional. Extremely. Uh, Victorian, yeah. Uh, and it is Victorian? Ah, yeah. see, I did not know that. That's why I thought I'd talk to some people. That's, I do it's not... Like Sheringham is Victorian and Cromer is Georgian. Wicked. That's really good. You see, I don't have to do research because I talk to people who know. Um, and this does look very good. You've even got your windmills here, mate, which looks awesome. So you must be aware that Sheringham has won some awards or been voted the best place to live in the UK. Yes, I have seen that over the last week. Well, that yeah. is why I, I have come. I'm, I'm from Norwich. I was born here. I've been here many times. Um, but because of that, that's what's drawn me here today. Would you agree with that? Would you, would you say it's a good place? Well, how is it to work here? It's lovely. Um, so yeah, you've got a bustling high street. Um, Which I'm not going to go and see, yes. Got, yeah, beautiful seafront, um, good walking routes either way. That's um, really good, and it's dog yeah. friendly. I see lots of dog walkers, which is all good. Yeah, certainly dog friendly. Oh, yeah, right. A lot of cafes, saw, uh, pubs. Okay. And what was your name again? I'm Jack. Jack, Sean, appreciate your time. No you have a great day, Jack. Cheers, buddy. Wicked. A little bit of info. Victorian seaside town, no less. Oh man, I look at it, everywhere you look, the grey seal coffee. It is, it is kept its tradition from, wow, maybe from them Victorian days. Don't know. So it's all pebble dashed, pebble dashed, flint, flint dash, not pebble dash. Pebble dash is something, something most of you guys do when you go to the toilet. <laughs> Possibly more ice cream, look at that. You all right there, darling? Yes, thank you. Hi. Hi. Do you live here? Yes, I do. Do you mind being on camera? Um, <sighs> it's okay. Do you mind talk? I'm talking yes, to me. Yeah, yeah. And that's. Okay. Like, would you say this is is this the best place you ever lived? Yes. It yes. Is the best place I've ever lived. It yes. is. It is yes. good. All right. And business is good. Business is really good. And are you? Is this proper Italian ice cream? Italian ice cream, this is English ice cream. Wicked! Which it's is made, even... It's made locally. Is it? Yes. With, with local products Lo from a local dairy? Local products, local dairy, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Much better than that Italian rubbish, you get everywhere. <laughs> Much better. Brilliant. Darling, I wish you a really good yeah, day. Have a day. Awesome. And look how cool this looks. You can come and have English traditional ice cream. Wicked, on a lovely day like this. Cheers. What? Oh, you, oh, okay. Are oh, you local? No. Oh, you live in Stalham? That's what someone's got to live in Stalham. And that, but it's local work. You often get called to Sheringham for work? Yeah, we've got a lot. Mainly in the other, up the other end. All on the belt. Yeah, okay. And you are, you know, look, I'll, give, I'll give Rob Turner a bit of a punt. Rob Turner, if you need some quality, what's that say, wrought yeah. iron work done. Is that what you do? This is what this is, raw ironwork. Usually yeah. this would be black, right? But yeah. well, the, it's, the sea's down there and it's coming off the um, sea. Do you need this to last? You don't want to go yeah. rusty. Well, also it'll blast the um, paint off. The sea eventually will blast this paint yeah, off. Yeah, the sand, it will yes. there and just blast it. Like so, so this is going to look really cool in about 10 years. Oh, it'll look good in about six months. Six it? months, it'll be tarnished and yeah. weathered. Yeah. Oh, wicked. It's got a nice grey finish. Okay, wicked. And that's Rob Turner. Yeah, I'm All right. Rob. Wicked. Rob, have a good day, mate. Where are you on? YouTube. YouTube. Uh, vlogging a dead horse. All oh, right. With a V. Yeah. Vlogging a dead horse. Yeah. You'll find me out. This will be on tomorrow night. All right. Awesome, mate. Have a great day. Hey, cool, man. I love it when someone shout me. Oh, what about us? Get us on camera. There you go. You've even got an amusement arcade, which are dying. They are Stevenson's Cafe and Fish Bar. Lovely bit of artwork, man, which almost looks Victorian. We've got a few lads in there hiding up. We probably don't want to be on camera. Do you want to be on camera? Do you mind? Not at all, mate. Eat, you can eat, you know, is that a British Bulldog? Bat's heads, no, he's a pub cross, he's a family dog. Well, you don't, oh, God, thank God, for a minute, I thought you were serving pugs. <laughs> and uh, I, was, I thought I was back in Laos for a minute, dog barbecue. I thought, this can't be right. You, you never know, you never know. So what do you serve, darling? Uh, so we specialise in dirty fries. Um, we do flat dirty burgers and dirty fries? Absolutely, mate. Yes, dirty absolutely. burgers. Big fan of dirty burgers. You know where the name dirty burger come from? <laughs> no. Uh, trailer Park Boys. Oh, okay. It's a Canadian thing. You know Trailer Park Boys? Yeah. You do? That's yeah, where the dirty burger. Oh, really? That's where it comes from, man. Yeah, yeah, that's from Trailer Park Boys. Um, 
I forget the guy, uh, what is it? Randy. Yeah. With a big belly. Yeah. He's always wanting dirty burgers. <laughs> so do you live here? I do indeed, yeah. You do? And is it the best place in Britain to live? Uh, I think Sheringham is fantastic. It yes. is. It absolutely is That's wonderful. I, I'm, yeah. I'm enjoying it. Yeah? Yeah. And I've spent a lot of time in Thailand. Yeah. And places like that. But it's just as good being here. How long are you here for? Uh, just today. Just today? Oh my god. Yeah. And you're but documenting your... Uh... In show, I'm, in, I'm in England for another two weeks and I'm going to off to do a European tour. Oh god, uh, before, I? Well, I know, it's oh. tough, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I recommend becoming a YouTuber. Yeah? Uh, seriously, yeah, I'm, 50, I'm 57. Yeah. Uh, I started this two years ago. And now I get to go around, talk to people, find out stuff, and I just I just make up what I want to do and where I want to go. Yeah, yeah. That's, that sounds like heaven on earth. It's good actually. life, yeah, you know. That's fantastic. I recommend it, guys. I appreciate you talking to me. No Thank worries. you. Have a cracking day. And you, all the best. Cool people in this town. That goes to show it must be a cool place to live, because the people are cool. If it was a horrible place to live, they'd all be miserable, wouldn't they? They would. Don't have to make that up. It's beautiful artwork from Sanders and Christie. That it is. There's some nice bronze sculptures. And I think this lady is a local artist as well. I recognize the artwork. I can't think of the lady's name, but oh man, there is an artist, Michael Sanders. So I don't know the artist. No, I thought that was a lady, but no, Michael, it's definitely a geezer's artwork. But very good, traditional, man. Our price, you can even have a bargain shop here, look. Which is really cool. All kind of retro items, prints, just stuff that you can buy the kids to keep them quiet. <laughs> While you enjoy a bit of sunbathing, you get a whole roast. Crofter's carvery, look at that. that. Look at the size of that beef. Oh, man, I'm hungry. I don't know if I want a roast dinner, roast beef, or do I want a traditional English ice cream? The answer is I want the lot and a dirty burger. But I do. You've got fish and chips with gourmet burgers. Everything. Wicked town, look. Let's just go for it. We've got toys and games. Sterling's news agents. And this place hasn't. I know it hasn't. You've actually got a bakery here as well. Man, Eccles cakes, two quid? Oh man, I remember when they were 40p. <laughs> two quid for an Eccles cake? That scared me. That, that has. Oh, and you have coffee and gelato. That gelato gets everywhere. It does. Oh man, got local Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's on this little high street. <laughs> Good eye. Good eye, you have like making it up. Sainsbury's local. And they've still got their Christmas decorations up. They're probably still waiting for the men with the ladder to turn up. I just looked down there because all these flint walls look, they look really cool. Just a lovely little back street off the main road. Let's have a little snoop about. What are we going to find looking in bins? And then, <laughs> no fly tipping. That's probably been fly tipped. Someone else's bins. I love having a snoop about around the back lanes. You just don't know what you're going to see or find or stumble into. You don't. Oh man. And it is a wicked. You've got the lifeboat show as well. Like the R N L I. No, I, I don't know. Hello. Are you, are you people local? Yeah. Do you mind being on film? Do you know the local R and L I ladies? They live locally. We do. Would you say this is probably one of the best places to live in the UK? Oh, definitely. Most yeah. definitely. Yeah. Now I did see on the news somewhere there's a lady coxswain for the. Art. Is that here at Sheringham? Yes. yes. That she's here as well. Yeah. Now I didn't know that. That's she's the only lady coxswain as well. Is is that correct? Don't know. Don't know. Sure. A coxswain is the person in charge of the boat, the yes. team. Yeah. That is a coxswain. Okay. Oh, I have learned something recently. Wicked and ladies, but well, thank you. Okay. Um, because I've seen I've seen on the news um, that Sheringham sort of not won the award, but it's been voted one of the best places in Britain to live. Yeah, it's in the top twenty. In the top twenty. Top twenty four. Of the. Top okay. Of the places to live. Of the whole of Great Britain. Yeah. That's really good. Do you know whereabouts in the top no, 24? No. Cause okay, because like, that means I've got 23 more villages to go to. Yeah, you have. 
One of them was Norwich, I think. Really? Well, <laughs> that, that's got, no, no, that's a grey area. That's where I live. That's oh. where I cut. That's a very grey area. I don't think it's a great place to visit. I wouldn't say Norwich is a great, not like, it, it, it's not, it's nowhere near yeah, as good. We have got yeah. the sun today. Yeah, well, that's why I come here. It's brought me out. No better place than a bit of sun in spring. No. Brilliant. Ladies, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you, Cheers. Thank, thank you. Bye bye. It's a very rare lady coxswain in charge of the boat. There is only one in the whole of Britain. And she's here at Sheringham. I try and find out where the R N N R N L I station is. I will. We got a little, we got more shops. Got W H Smiths. Still there. We've got a little theatre. No way. It's a cinema and a calf. Can't be right. Well, it is right. It is a cinema and a cafe. The door's opened. It's quite cool, all these people in there. The cafe. You all right, darling? Hello there. Hello. It's all right for come in. I just... Yeah, not, to film. not to film. You all right, darling? Are yeah, you local? Yes. Is this the best place to live in Britain? Probably. Good answer. Enjoy your day, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there you go. There is a cinema. A tiny little house. Flint. It's not nap. It's just a flint house. Flint house. There's no flint nap in here. Hmm. It is. It's all that's been. No, it's all flint. Now, I daren't walk under the ladder. No, Ruth, I just did. I need harder. <laughs> Chipping away. Are you guys local? Yeah. Is this the best place to live in Britain? Is it yeah. good for work? Yeah. It ain't bad. The geese has got his shirt off. Like on a day like this, catching the tan. Can't be too bad a job, can it? Yeah. It's spot on. It's spot on. Yeah. Cheers, guys. All the best. Cheers. Cheers. Wicked. People are really friendly. Even the lady who didn't want me to film was friendly. It's cool. Oh, 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 look. <laughs> ah, how much are they? The Lambrettas, $7.95 each. And the Vespers, uh, uh, I think the shop is closed. Closed on a Monday. Ah, oh, and there's more. Look, those. I don't really call them little Lambrettas. If the shop was open, I would have spent some money. I would have done. It's got loads of them. Ah, oh, closed on a Monday. Right, the Robin Hood pub. Right there, you've got loads of boozers. Got lots of places, like I say, ice creams, dirty burgers, coffee shops. Couldn't have gone in the coffee shop in the cinema. Lots of places to enjoy some good food, some good grub, and have a beer. We even have seafood, smoked salmon, prawns, and mussels. Oh man, I'm. No, it is nice looking fresh seafood shop with not much smell. No, if it smells, then run away. It's not fresh. <laughs> fresh seafood has no smell. It doesn't. Oh, yeah, I've got a, is it a cherry shop. No, it's a giftware emporium. <laughs> I was hoping it was a cherry shop. It's just like a gift shop. Man, but I did see, look at these guys, Tintin from France. Man, they've reproduced. Quite a lot of stuff, that is really good looking stuff. If you've got any original Tintin stuff, vintage toys, worth a little bit of money. Oh man, you've got a courtyard, yeah? You have. Must be a courtyard going to oh, all these different units. In here. That like little cottage industry. I'm going in. Wicked. This is a coffee shop. You all right there, buddy? Man. Trying to avoid people. Oh, no. oh man, look at those cakes. Oh, looking good. You all right there, mate? You all right? Good coffee? Are you local? Uh, yeah, Sheringham. You are Sheringham? Yeah. And yourself? Yeah. Is this the best place to live in Britain? Yeah. Is it? You enjoy living there? Yeah. You enjoy working there? Love it, yeah. You do. There are two friendly, happy chappies, both living and working in Sheringham. 
and they've got some really good looking cakes and I'm spoiled for choice the amount of the abundance of drink and food I've seen well, I'd say come and have a visit cheers guys appreciate that thank you and these are look in here in this little royal arcade you've got all these little cottage industries perhaps from local people sharing them handicrafts all in here I'm not going to get too intrusive <laughs> I'm not there's a spiritual shop spirit they're closed at the moment <laughs> oh man Monday that is the thing Monday these shops are probably open it's a mirror how do we look do we look all right a bit windswept here I ain't looking too bad today oh there is a lady having a hairdressing done <laughs> the salon is open well I was going to say some places are open on a Sunday so therefore they then close on a Monday they do wicked and look and you see everywhere is all flint made all flint <laughs> you alright darling cheers the red lobster is that a charity shop <laughs> no it's a shop full of art uh, it is. I like a charity shop, don't I? That is some quirky artwork, but it, it captures, it captures the essence. These artwork really does capture uh, the essence of this little town. It certainly does. It really does. Oh, right. Not got much further to walk up here. Oh, you've got more bakery. How much is an Eccles cake here? Oh, look. That's bigger, it's fatter, and 170. That's 30 pence cheaper than down the road. And that, that Eccles cake is bigger. This, this, this is cheaper and better than that one down on the left. No, I wasn't impressed with the one. No, that's what I mean. I, I, there you go. I, I didn't know you'd see such a... A difference a, in this short... There you go. Space of time, darling. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Enjoy your day. Are you local, you guys? No. No, you're just visiting like me. Well, yeah. sort of. You're we've got a static caravan nearby. So oh, it's not we've bad. Been here a few times a year. You, you do, and the caravan. Oh, that's a good life, eh? <laughs> that's all right. I'm now going to buy a tent. I am. Right. Not today, but for my next adventure, I'm going to be a tent, man. <laughs> Cheers. Have a good day. Cheers. Cloud is starting to come out. But... Oh, man. So there you, there you go. It's cheap bakery. It's expensive bakery. Didn't know I was going to see difference in price I would have thought that the price they'd be price fixation in a small village like this everybody they'd probably have local meetings like they do at Wells everything is price fixed at Wells they have local local parish meetings and everybody agree what they're going to charge for a cup of tea or whatever and they keep them the same right across that happens at Wells here I like it it's more independent empty sweet jars please leave a kind donation for them I ain't got no money. Ah, so I want them. Four empty sweet jars. Ah, I have not got any money. I have not. I got 15p. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> no, no, that would, that, that would. I, I would actually accept lots of criticism if I gave them 15p. I would. I, I'd take that right on the chin. You got a pieman, Norfolk's pieman. I oh, mean, you do have a charity shop. Well, you've got, you've got hog roast and carvery. Man, you've got just, in such a short space of time, on this one street, there is a couple more. There's an indoor market. Open Monday to Saturday, nine till, don't know. <laughs> I don't think they've finished doing the sign yet. Um, somebody's had their business removed. They thought, like, not paint that over. <laughs> just scrape that out. Plan a notice for a new business, I reckon. Oh man, and Russell Circus there is in town. I have seen lots of signs for Russell Circus. Oh, this is the 27th of March, so lots of early promotions for that. Now one quick bit I've got to do is Sheringham has got a train. Not only has it got a train station, I think the train that runs, I mean look how cool this is. The train that runs, oh man, that just looks awesome. What a great looking place. Coffee to cocktails, the gangway, and the bottle shop, quarter deck, another boozer. And here you've got an old, I do not sit or lean against the fence. What a wicked station, you've got an old train right up on there and this original gate where you can sit here and probably watch. I don't know if this railway line is, there is, it will, the gate will open. 
I don't know what the cars. Don't know. I don't know if there's some kind of reenactment of a of a movie or something. I don't know. Don't know. But this railway line, whether it stops there, it does. It doesn't come along here. This this bit of railway line is no longer in use. Obviously. <laughs> Let's go and find out. I'm always making stuff up. Excuse me, buddy. Are you local? Am I right in thinking that this bit of railway line is no longer in use? No, you're wrong. I'm wrong? Yeah. They do use it? Sometimes, yes. Sometimes? Yes, yes. Okay. But not all the time. No. Mainly not. Okay. So there's, there's, there, is that, that, that goes to Norwich, does it? Yeah, that goes to Norwich. And then this section would be the scenic railway section? Yeah, steam train. That's the old steam train bit. Oh, that's brilliant. And are you local? Yes. You are? Do you think it's one of the best places in Britain to live? Of course. Of course it is. <laughs> that ain't bad sitting there, isn't it? No. That ain't bad on a sunny spring day. A beautiful view. Yes. That's all you need. Yeah, you're right. All right, mate. You have a good day. Thanks very much. Thank you. So, yes, you can get the, st the steam train from there. That will take you on one of the most scenic railway trips in Great Britain. That way, just take you back to Norwich. That will. So look, look, this is where you start at the top with a car park. There's a big car park right there. And then if you park there, how picturesque, how scenic, how idyllic. As you could probably imagine from the sign, North Norfolk's premier seaside town. And I do believe <laughs> it's probably, probably right. You can get fruit and veg. Strawberries, oh, mate, two punnets for a fiver. Oh man, there is local fruit and veg available. I'll stick to my Aldi's personally <laughs> for me fruit and veg. But look, the chocolate box. Oh, oh look at all them mega, <laughs> mega sweets, mega sour sweets all in there. They look really good. Proper old, oh mate, even the Burberry Bub and Custard, look. All these old, 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 old traditional sweets in jars. Oh, hang on. I had to be done, I had to come get some change. I actually asked the lady how much do she want for her sweet jars, which are now in one's possession. 50p, 50p, two quid for four sweet jars. That's a bargain. I know they're worth a fiver each. I do, but I, well, I bought them for Woody, because Woody, he loves stuff like that. He puts all sorts of rubbish in them. He do, he just fills stuff up with rubbish. Ladies do stuff, they usually buy them and fill them up with lights, don't they? Fairy lights. Woody, though, he just fills his up with nuts and bolts and screws and just basically rubbish. <laughs> so here we are. It is such, I mean, it's a pleasant experience actually being here. Well, I say, ladies, I've not got a bad job. Self-appointed, self-employed, do whatever you want, mate. When I woke up this morning and I saw the weather, I thought, right, that's me, I'm off to Sheringham. I'll do that vlog about it being one of the best places to live in the UK. And like the lady said, in the top 24, which is pretty good. Oh, man. Oh, there's a job. Now recruiting, what is a wage like in the Robin Hood in the UK? They are now recruiting full-time and part-time staff. A chef... <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Mr Postman. A chef is on 30 to 40k. Oh, mate, Gary, if you're looking, you're 30 to 40k chef, but he don't want to do all the hours. Experienced bar staff, 12 to 15 quid an hour. And then for your kitchen port of 12, 12 quid an hour for a KP. That's big money. Yeah. Big money. I think when I was a chef, they were on £3.50 or £2.75. That was the national minimum wage. Going back, it's got a man to what way to the hotel? 1990, I think. Yes, I'm sure it was. Wow. So a little theatre is having some new windows fitted. Cheers, buddy. All the best. Oh man, you've got Terry Pratchett's weird sisters. I don't know, is that what, Thursday 28th to Saturday to March? 
Terry Pratchett, that could actually be really cool. Terry Pratchett is, ah, you know who Terry Pratchett is. He's a, he's a novelist, a writer, I'm sure he is, of weird and wonderful things. Can't quite think what he actually, you have, you've got the Sheringham trawler. Great fish and chips right there. We've got a few vehicles reversing and parking and blocking the road for deliveries, as you would expect on such a narrow one-way street. I can't believe how much I'm running on today. I've done half run on non-stop. Yeah. But it's cool. The more buzzed up I get, the more I run on. The more wicked stuff I see, the more I run on. Oh, you're all right there. You're, you're stuck in traffic. Yeah. Oh, you're not local, obviously. No. no. <laughs> Grumpy Cunge. You'll always get one. He's blocking the traffic and moaning because I'm walking in front of him. <laughs> you always get one. <coughs> More fish, fish and chips. Wicked. Wicked. I <laughs> see where he pull up. <laughs> He's a brave man. All oh, right, Sanders and Christie's. Oh, so I hope you've enjoyed my little exploration of Sheringham. All the best, guys. Have a good day. Okay. Wicked, man. Cheers. Cool. Right, the lobster. Wyndham Street, and that's spelt Wyndham Rum. And another boozer. Oh, it is, it's still the same one, it's the lobster. As I walk my way back. Gun Street. Man. Why was it called Gun Street? Sheringham Town Council. I reckon, got crab cottages, one Gun Street. I reckon that man used to, all these houses would have served the industry, wouldn't he? Come what may, he would have had crab boats. Someone down there would probably have made some guns. A lobster, what a little courtyard like. It's all right, like, you come in here and eat out. It's tranquil, it's idyllic. It's just a really cool place to come and enjoy a spring. Sunny spring day like today. You got bed and breakfast at the boutique at Smugglers, B&B, dog friendly rooms. Just all right if you're traveling with a dog. Oh man, sea spray, gun street. Well, I oh, mean, those rooms look pretty good. They do, very good. Not a bad place, Smugglers, bed and breakfast. Right there, vacancies. Now that, that is a cool place to come and stay. It is. <laughs> You've got the hall. Look at that bishop. That's obviously newly built front door on there. They took some planning to get that on the old traditional building, but they've done it. And the Windham Arms. Oh, man, Windham Arms freehold. Wicked old looking boozer. Oh man. Mobile catering in there. Right, my car is there. I'm just going to walk around this little bit. I walk part of bar entrance, sharing a museum. I think I'm just now going to walk back to where I first started. Look at that. That's, that's for that water pump. I guess look at this, man. How wicked that that's open. It's a winch for winching them old boats back in, in here. That is the winch room all open. Proper, there's an anchor there. Oh, man, that's to winch those boats back up. This little jetty right here. All these fishermen's boats. Claire Marine. Oh, no, I don't know if they've left here. here just for decoration, <laughs> or if they actually are real, live, lobster working boats. 
Don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I've spent too much time in Thailand to like think everything is a sham. <laughs> so when I see something real now, I think, hang on a minute. Hang on, is it real? <laughs> is it? <laughs> that is my last reference to Thailand. Yes, new country, new place. So yes, and quite frankly, to be honest, there isn't a comparison. You cannot compare. You cannot. It's an unlevel playing field. Oh man. Whew. Right, now I know I'm going to enjoy the walk, not the walk back, the drive back. The drive here was awesome. The things I saw, I saw some really cool stuff. And I am going, hang on, am I going in the museum? There is, it's a sharing a museum with a gift, gift center as well, right there. So you can probably buy something nautical. <laughs> oh, wicked. Right, I am, <laughs> I've walked around. I reckon I've done that in half an hour. I reckon, hopefully, I haven't got a ticket. And that is it, that was a lap. That was a lap of Sheringham, that was. A whole lap. Man. Good day. Good day. Wicked. What a really cool place to come and visit and have a walk about and probably go and sit in a crown and have something nice to eat and drink. I unfortunately, oh man, I've got to get on. I've got to move the car before I get a ticket. But more importantly, I need a WAS. So I'll get back to you in two ticks. Oh man, I did tell you, look. Russell's International <laughs> Circus is in town. Oh, there's a car, uh, Cookies car boot site. Hey, oh, look. And I'm, I just parked the motor there. If I left the keys in it, I don't know. So I just, <laughs> I'm going in. <laughs> I'm the king of circus. Now I've got to have to be a bit careful there on mine. I've got my car, I should have left the car running. Because we're on say, <laughs> these boys are probably, oh man, someone on the Bansy Castle, look, they're probably all travellers. <laughs> now, would you walk onto a traveller's slide just jumping over the fence? No, no, not even if you are looking for a dog. No, but I just thought I'd show you the site, but they're now going to pitch up all the big top and the tents. Look at that geezer's caravan he's living in. Man, you've got ladies and gents' toilets. This is going to be quite a spectacular got a few more caravans around the side and even there look at that that is a living dormitory there i wonder if this guy talked to me all right buddy you all right, all right. yeah it's are they living quarters there yeah. it's like a whole dormitory yeah. where are you local no no where this is an international circus yeah. do you mind being on camera yeah. you, you don't want to oh that's pointing at me um so you, 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 what do you, where do you go internationally? All around Europe or? Been all over. All over, all, Britain and Europe. Yeah. Okay, so you're constantly uh, on. India. In India? Yeah. You've got India. That's awesome. That is, that is what you call an international circus. What is the most spectacular thing I will see if I come here? Hair hanging. The what? Hair hanging. Hair hanging? What's that? Well, you're hung by your hair. Well, you're hung by your hair. Hair hanging. See, I told you, if you walk on a traveller's site, you've got to be a bit careful. Hair hanging. <laughs> That's the top thing to see. But that beautiful mound, look, that is a Norfolk mountain right there, which is very rare. Cheers, buddy. Have a good day, mate. All the best. Who's wicked? The guy there is on the trapeze. Hair hanging. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, I don't want. Ah, oh, man. I don't want no hair hanging. No. <laughs> Decent man, all over, they go to India. Can you imagine? That is such a journey. Oh, mate, I'm happy, I'm happy. Right, let's go for that happy ending. And chill. As you can see, things have restored to normal. <laughs> the sun's gone, the clouds are filled, filling in from behind. And I'm getting harassed by the cattle. I am. They'll probably jump on me in a minute. But I am having, it's that time of day, a cup of hot chocolate. Yes. Hot 
chocolate. Where are you? He's leaping about. Look, there's one cattle. There's the other one. Oh, hang on. He's gone for a hike. He's gone for a walkabout. Now, those cats, cattle, him, I have seen him right, right down the edge of that field. They go on a proper hike about, and usually you get a few deer. I've seen a deer here. By the time I went to get my camera, he had gone. Um, oh, you do. Wicked countryside. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog as much as I did. And, and on my way back, I found another little village that, that looked absolutely stunning, proper, proper traditional old English uh, village, which, uh, which looked awesome, which I will go back and make a vlog about that. Uh, I will, it's got a hall, it's, it's got everything. It's, it's really good, a proper estate and all sorts and that was good and then and when i now got back to the yard one of my old mates mr campbell lawson had, had run the number on the side of the van to speak to woody and woody let me use his phone because i'm out of credit so this one could catch up i hadn't spoke to campbell for over 20 years so campbell that was brilliant mate and that that's buzzed me that's really buzzed me up um funny story how I, how how that appeared when i was in thailand this is this is a funny story how things go about or how you how you gain contact with people you've lost contact with over many years i, I forget where i was in thailand i believe it, um I forget where it was. Somewhere extreme, actually, not one of the, the, the big places. I bumped into a Scottish couple who told me they were from Kinross. And I said, oh, I've got a mate there named Campbell Lawson, a wife called Linda. She's like, I know Linda Lawson. She's a nurse. I work with her. Funny, so she flicked through her mobile phone and sure enough, she had a photograph of Linda on her phone. So she sent Linda a text informing my good old friends of <laughs> my current situation on my youtube channel so i speak to campbell right now and i will be catching up you'll see campbell six foot six like he look like a viking if he's still got his long black hair it's a proper scotsman i know um so that'd be really cool and, and a really good part of scotland because after europe scotland i think i may head up to scotland i'll have a, a little break before i may i don't know how long i believe i can go into europe for three months but I'm not sure if I, I need to come back for a week, a month, or a day before I can go back in for another three months. So that's what this summer could be. I'm really uh, stalling until I go back to India, which will be sort of August, September time. I think. It's trying to fit it all in. Oh, man. Wicked. Wicked. So I am having a cool, happy ending with a cup of... Hot chocolate. It was a bit chilly and I put my yard coat on. It was a bit chilly back here. That was really nice and sunny out on the coast. And you can see those dark clouds are pushing in. So I reckon tomorrow will be a rainy day. Oh. You coming, are you? Are you following me? Are you coming? The other one's all right. One of them, you coming? You follow me everywhere I go, because the only re reason I exist in this house, as Woody does, is, is to feed the cattle. That's it. That's our existence here. The only reason we exist is to feed the cattle. That's it. So, guys, appreciate you watching right to the end. And until next time, au revoir.